everyone today in this video we are going to talk about the viral hepatitis and its types and classifications so first thing is that what is hepatitis the term viral hepatitis is used to describe infection of the liver caused by hepatotropic viruses since currently there are five main varieties of these viruses uh, these are uh, hepatitis a virus b virus here we can see hepatitis a b c virus hepatitis d hepatitis e and g as well uh, since f is somewhere not so much described so we'll simply talk about the viral hepatitis a in this video so here we can see a diagram of uh, hepatitis a virus since infection with hiv cause hepatitis uh, a that is the infectious hepatitis since hepatitis a is responsible for 20 to 25 percent of clinical hepatitis in the developing countries of the world but the incidence is much lower in the developed countries so the hepatitis a is usually a benign self-limiting disease and has an incubation period of 15 to 45 days So the hepatitis A, as I told you, cause infectious hepatitis and the transmission is through fecal oral route. It is a sub-acute disease of global distribution affecting mainly children and young adults. So we will talk about the properties of hepatitis viruses and morphology. Here we can see it is approximately 27 nanometer and it is non-enveloped RNA virus, not DNA or something else. This is RNA virus belonging to picorna virus genus or family we can say so hiv is stable to treat uh, treatment with 20 percent ether acid and heat 60 degrees celsius for one hour the virus can be destroyed by autoclaving at 121 degrees celsius for 60 minutes and by boiling water in uh, water for five minutes uh, by dry heat 180 degrees celsius for one hour by UV rays 1 minute at 1.5 watts. So, since the pathogenesis such as HIV first ingested and probably enters the bloodstream through oropharynx or epithelium lining of the intestine to reach its target. Since the virus can be localized by immunofluorescence in hepato hepatocytes and cuffer cells, then a virus is produced in these cells is released into bile from there into stool. Since the virus is shed in large quantity into stool approximately 10 days before symptoms of jaundice appear or antibody can be detected. HIV replicates slowly in the liver without producing apparent cytopathic effects. Since a brief viremia occurs during periasteric phase but ceases with the onset of jaundice. So chronic viremia does not occur in this uh, HIV virus then the structure so let's just revise the structure is 27 nanometer the coronavirus in mode of infection uh, is through fecal oral uh, age the most it effect is children then uh, incubation period is approximately 15 to 45 days onset is acute illness mild and it do not have any carrier state it do not have any sort of um, potency for oncogenicity then uh, we'll talk about the clinical features most probably uh, the incubation period is two to six weeks disease in children is generally milder than in adults and is usually asymptomatic so the clinical disease consists of two stages prodromal and periasteric and the steric phase the onset may be acute with fever malaise anorexia nausea vomiting and liver tenderness these usually subside with the onset of jaundice. The patient starts to feel better within the next week odds. So the jaundice disappears within a month. Recovery is slow over a period of four to six weeks. So since the etiological agent for hepatitis A virus, that is, uh, we can say it is through fecal route in contaminated water, in food, by dry, dirty hands, shellfish that is not selfish this is shellfish especially clams 
oyster and mussels are important sources of the virus. HIV outbreaks usually originate from a common source such as water supply, restaurant, uh, daycare center. Since uh, the epidemiology of type A hepatitis resembles that of poliomyelitis. Okay, so now we'll talk about uh, uh, the laboratory diagnosis. So the demonstration of the virus, the virus can be visualized by immunoelectron microscopy in fecal extracts during the late incubation period and the prehistoric phase. And the demonstration, this is the met, uh, first method and second method could be demonstration of antibodies. The best way to demonstrate an acute HIV infection is by finding anti-HIV immunoglobin as measured by ELISA. Uh, antibody IgM, uh, anti-HIV antibody appears during late incubation period, reaches peak level 2 to 3 weeks and disappears after 3 to 4 months. IgG antibodies appear at the, at about the same time, peaks in three to four months and persists more, much longer. Uh, so we'll talk about the immunization. There is only one serotype of HIV, and HIV infects only humans. Factors that help ensure the success of an immunization program, since uh, the natural infection with HIV clinical or subclinical leads to lifelong immunity. There is no cross immunity between HIV and any other of the hepatitis viruses. Uh, immunization can be passive pro protection and a he hepatitis A vaccine can be given. For passive protection, specific passive prophylaxis by poor normal immunoglobin that is um, before the exposure or in early incubation period can be given through intramuscularly. Then um, can prevent or attenuate clinical illness. So, the hepatitis A vaccine, that is the formalin inactivated alum conjugated vaccine and the live HIV vaccine. Okay, so what is a formalin inactivated uh, alum conjugated vaccine? So, it's a safe and effective formalin activated uh, alum conjugated vaccine containing HIV grown in human deployed cell culture is available for use in children and adults at high risk for infection especially travelers to in, um, endemic regions full course consists of two intramuscular injections of the vaccine protection begins four weeks after injection and lasts for about 10 to 20 days and the live HIV vaccine since has been developed in China and the treatment is uh, sympt uh, sorry symptomatic and there is no specific antiviral drug uh, for hepatitis A is available. So we are done with hepatitis A. So in the next video, most probably we'll talk about the hepatitis B. Uh, within a week, I'm going to upload it.